Thanks for watching Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. So when you get started in traditional woodworking, there's a lot of hand tools that you'll eventually need, but I have created a list of just the basic minimum tool set of tools that you can get away with in getting started in traditional woodworking. So one of those tools is a coping saw. So coping saws are not really anything fancy. Uh, they're very simple and very inexpensive, both new and vintage. Uh, they're used for, a for several things. Uh, primarily what I use mine for is for cutting out the waste on dovetails after you've cut down here with the, the dovetail saw and then I cut out the waste with a coping saw. They're also good for doing little scroll work or jigsaw work if you want to cut some, cut a shape out of something. So there's, there's not a lot of really amazing coping saws out there. Um, the blades don't last very long in them and they twist and that's why, that's why coping saw blades are so cheap. You can get them in little packages. But uh, I found uh, a couple coping saws that work really well. So if you're interested in learning more about coping saws and the features to look for and uh, brands and prices and links to the ones I like, you can follow the button or the link below this video to check out the handsaw buying guide and look for the coping saws. So if you found this video to be helpful, just uh, check out my, uh, just uh, subscribe up there at the blue button and check out the other lists, the other tools that are on this list of the basic tools to getting started and check out my other videos on how to get started in traditional woodworking.